Hey, nice. Good morning, Senator. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just. Yeah, no. You know, regardless of whether Donald were to concede or not, it's a it's a divided electorate. Um, you know, it's it's maybe the most divided in any election that I've seen in my lifetime. The the election of 1976 was tough because it was coming after Watergate and impeachment and the Vietnam War, and so that was a tough one. But this is really hard, and and Hillary and I have talked about that. What are we going to do? after election to start a healing process of bringing people together and, and we don't we don't want to wait till the inauguration for that we want to start right away and i think that there's you know there's some things you do the tone of of how you speak to the nation how hillary speaks to the nation because um, she'll be the president for everybody and how she does that and i'll do my part in that too is really important we, as we think about policy, um, things that we do, uh, we're going to need Republican votes in Congress for things that we want to do for the good of the country. So hopefully we can start to reach out on policy ideas, too, where we can get some, some accord. Well, and we have talked about this. So, you know, regardless of whether Donald were to concede or not, it's a, it's a divided electorate. Um, you know, it's, it's maybe the most divided in any election that I've seen in my lifetime. And we do have an opportunity in this because we're going to get a lot of Republican votes. We have not run this campaign as a campaign against the GOP with the big broad brush. We've run it against Donald Trump. You have little glimpses where you patch. I mean, I guess that's possible. I mean, it, just like you have glimpses of the enhanced security around you, which even as governor, you know, I didn't have the security that I have now. The most important job of the vice president is just to be in the room and offer advice on every hard decision that the president makes um, as, a, as a key advisor, as a principal advisor. And when Hillary asked me to do the job, she said, you know, this is really what I most need from you. You've had a lot of different experiences in politics and out, and I hope you'll give me that best advice. The most important job of the vice president is just to be in the room and offer advice on every hard decision that the president makes. Um, as a, as a key advisor, as a principal advisor. Some of the things that I think I just have an expertise in, anything dealing with mayors and governors, I mean, I've been a mayor and I've been a governor, and I have a profound understanding that something that is in a bill doesn't really work unless it works in a zip code where people live. Um, if we're there, we're going to want to govern for the good of the country. What are the things that we can work on together? Because of my time in Honduras, because of my Spanish fluency, and because of the fact that I think there's a lot of real upside opportunities for us in the Americas, working a little bit on that uh, in tandem with the 45 million Americans who care deeply about Latin America because that's where their families are from, that's a, a natural place where I think I can do some real good for the administration. We have not run this campaign as a campaign against the GOP with the big broad brush. We've run it against Donald Trump. Well, not really. I mean, I think, look, I think the President Clinton is going to be a real added asset. I've seen that on the campaign trail already. I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting in the, in the President and Vice President, essentially, to have four principals who can travel around. My wife's been doing great events everywhere, especially with educators, and President Clinton has been, too. Um, exactly the role that he will play is, you know, still to be determined. We're, we're all a little you know, much on that we don't, we don't want to be presumptuous. We've got to win this thing first. So we're starting to have those discussions. But we didn't want to have them too early because that would mean that we were taking our eye off the, the main goal, which is to win. We're going to get a lot of Republican votes. And that will also be part of, right out of the gate, uh, the way to bring folks back together.